Hello there, Mr. Drago. My name's Dr. I, I don't care who you are. What What is going on with my sister? I haven't heard, I haven't told anything. I've been sat here for ages. Is she okay? Okay. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Ogo, I said, I'm, I'm Dr. Mitchell, one of the, the psychiatrists that, that's, um, that work here. Um, Svetlana, um, your, um, your sister, she's been admitted to a, a medical intensive care unit uh, because, of, um, some side, because of a side effect that she'd um, ex experienced on the ward to, to one of the medications that was given. Uh, how, how has this happened? Last time I had, she wasn't, she wasn't great, but... But I, I went away for the weekend and I've come back and she's been, she's been detained and now she's... Yeah. Right. Why is she here? How wh how has this happened? Okay, um, I can see I can see that you're, you're distressed, and I, I will um, um, explain all those things um, clearly for you. She she was um, she, she she was detained uh, under under the mental health act and, and brought into hospital. Whilst she was on the ward, the the nursing staff were very concerned about um, the level of agitation that she was um, displaying when she was on the ward, uh, and. Uh, she well, was... What do you expect? Of course, she was agitated. She had just been sectioned against her will. Okay. Um, it, it, it was felt by the the doctor that had seen her that her level of agitation was um, beyond just more the stress of being being detained. It was as a result of her still being unwell um, with her with her uh, relapse and her, her schizophrenia. So she was given a medication called haloperidol, which is in the same group as risperidone. Okay. To help to help manage um, this level of agitation. However, after she was given the haloperidol, she developed a, a very rare side effect. Um, it, and the, 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 don't worry about the name of the side effect, but it's called neuroleptic malignant syndrome. So, are you saying that this is this is your fault? You have you have given her this drug, and as a result, she she is now she nearly died, and and. The, um, the the treatment plan that was followed followed hospital guidelines and followed national guidelines. So haloperidol is, is a medication that is is used in these situations. Um, so, uh, how, how how did you treat it? Well, well, the, it, it, it was recognised early as, w w that sh that she she was becoming unwell when when on the ward. Uh, so the medication was stopped completely. And then she was transferred um, to, to the medical team here on, and into the intensive care unit. M my understanding from the information that I have is that her, her, uh, she's now stable and is now improving. Uh, uh, so, okay. so, um, so, so we won't be looking at restarting any medications I immediately at this stage. She needs to make a full recovery from this very rare side effect. Uh, okay. And then, and then we can look at. Um, Obviously, how we manage Svetlana um, in the future, to be absolutely sure that any incidences like this um, never happen again. Because I, I appreciate how distressing um, this 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 must have been for you, um, having come back and, and found Svetlana. Of course, uh, yeah. Um, is there anything anything you wanted to ask at all? Well, um, obviously, I'm not happy with no. the care. Um, okay. And I, I, I will be wanting to make a complaint about how, okay. how this has been dealt with. Okay. Uh, I, I don't understand why we weren't ever told about NMS um, okay. or explained that it could possibly have been a risk. Okay. No, that's, that's, um, that's, that's, um, I, go, I, I hear what you're saying. So, so the, the first thing that, that I, I can do is um, I will introduce you to our, our ward manager and also give you the, the contact details for the, the patient advisory liaison service who can help help you make a, a formal complaint. Good. We ourselves, as a team, will also be reviewing how um, Svetlana was managed uh, in this situation. As I said, from the information that, that I received, the, the, the medications that were prescribed followed, uh, as I said, the hospital guidelines and national guidelines in this situation, but we, would, we will always be conducting a, ourselves a review as to how how, how the situation was managed. Um, in, in terms of why um, Svetlana uh, hadn't been informed of of, of this particular risk, it, the the, fir the first instance is at the time she was she was she was unwell and wouldn't have really been able to take on board that information, given the fact that we also needed to um, detain her. Um, the other the other aspect is. Is that this this medica this um, side effect is extremely rare? It only affects one to two percent of 
of people that um, okay. that actually um, uh, do 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 take this medication. Um, did you have any other any other um, concerns at all? What what happens now? Um, is it is it going to happen again? Okay. What? Yeah. No. That that's so so. At the moment, the, the main aim is that Svetlana makes a full recovery physically. We will be continuing to monitor her um, while she's in the, uh, the medical hospital. So, okay. so our team will continue to, to visit her to make sure that she's, she's well physically, but, but also monitor her for any um, of her symptoms for her mental health. And then we would need to make a decision about um, ongoing medication. And we need to do that with the advice from uh, the, kind of the, the hospital pharmacists, the advice from the, the medics here. We need to be doing a review of all of the medications that Smitlan has been on before to make a decision as to what um, would be the safest medication to, to start her on. Um, we would always be starting her on the lowest possible dose of a medication. Um, we would be monitoring her vigilantly for any, any recurrence of any, of any side effects like this because, uh, as, as I said, we're... we're we we never want this situation to occur with with Spetlana again, given the distress it's caused caused all of us to um, in terms of managing it. Um, one thing I, I I would be saying is that we would not be considering um, uh, depot injections or or antipsychotic injections to manage Spetlana's condition, because we know those would now be completely contraindicated with with this with right. this condition. We've only had a limited amount of time today, um, Mr. Trago, so I'm, I'm very happy to come, uh, come back and speak to you again uh, and can give you some information on, on, on the, the medications and, and, and the side effect, if you wish. All right. Thank you, Doctor.